Okay, I'm trying this a bit differently. I did actually see um, Debbie Maltese do one, um, do a resin on hers, different to how I did mine, which was on a frame. So I've decided to do mine, give this one a go without a frame. So this is Groot. Hang on, I just want to make sure. So this one is Groot and I'm not putting them on the frame. What I am going to do is take the sides, um, do one layer and then I'll come back and do a second layer. So I'm not going to do thick layers and um, give it a go. Question is, do I use, uh, I'll use the painter's card. So hopefully everyone's doing well at the moment. Oops, did you understand that one? And what I do, what I have done is this table is not straight. So I've actually put, this is a poster board that I've got down. Uh, craft store, I got it from, in Australia, craft store is um, Spotlight. So that's where I got it from. Hang on a sec, I'll let him in. My dog wants in. He wants to come alone. Hey, buddy. Sorry about that. Um, my dog wants in, so I had to open the door, but I had the TV going, so hello, buddy. No, don't go under the camera, you'll bump it. You'll bump it. Okay. Um, now what, um, what GB Maltese did is she used a silicon mat, which I really like the idea of, because um, the resin doesn't stick to the silicon mat. So then that would mean that I'm not throwing away I mean, I was putting paper down as a protection. And she also had a, had silicon brushes. Um, come on, line up nicely, please. Sit down. I'm just going to tape him down to the board. Just a little bit more tape, you know, just to hold him on, hold him onto the board. Okay. I'm actually tempted to put resin on the um, chart. So I'm going to get to it and measure out some resin. I'm not going to do as much as I have done previously. I've got my. Hang on. I have my um, my little bit of a my experiment with the resin. So I've got that. I've also got a spinning tray. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> mix the resin on there. previous resin cup that I poured into. I do want to, I like the glue, so I'm actually, I'm gonna put glitter, I am gonna put glitter in. Um, and I'm gonna put the glitter in right at the start. And I don't want much at all. This is the ultra fine, so this is a fine glitter. I don't know how you can see how fine that is. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's a fine glitter. Um, because I'm doing the first layer thinner, and I'm doing it on a flat surface, I'm just thinking, before when I've done this, I have First time I did it was not enough. Um, the other times it's been enough that I've been doing it on the boards and I've been wanting to run over. 
This time I don't want to do too much because I just want to do a base coat that will seek through and soak through. So, I want the gloves before I start all of this. <clears throat> and still using um, art resin. So that's still the company that I'm using. Um, I will continue to use them. I, I'm liking their resin. I've seen um, clear cut. What would GB use? Um, she used clear cast. So she bought um, a small bottle. And I'm actually not quite sure what it cost, but I will say I paid nearly three hundred dollars. I think it was. I think. Um, so I paid nearly $300 I think for that I will um, put a uh, link to this this is from Amazon I'll put the link down and I will we'll give you the price correct price but um, be caution first and remembering that I do have I'm using the same measuring cups that are all the time just keeping them as B, A and B, just so they're not mixing up. And I'm going to go to the 75 mark. Yep. And I think that is plenty. Um, and instead of actually um, using a brush I'm actually going to use my hands so, bear with me while I'm trying to make sure I get the right measurement here one thing about um, art resin company art resin you get you can purchase their accessory kit and in that accessory kit, you get a stirring spoon, a stand, stirring stick. So that stirring stick, they, they do a, a stirring stick and they also do these, which you use to help spread. Okay, these, all you need is a paper towel and wipes off. There's no washing, just a paper towel to wash off, which is why even in this big, in this little cup, I will still use this because it is easier to um, yeah that's the B. I always like to pour the harder because it is if you if you're able to actually get the resin off these wipe it off with a paper towel. Oh, I'm gonna be changing sticks actually. Where'd I put my rubbish bag? Ha 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 there and hang on I just spilled the B on the bottom of that on that there we go right I will probably fast forward this bit Okay, so that's three minutes of stirring, and can you see there's a bit of glitter on there? I don't know whether you can see the glitter or not. Hang on. I'll do it that way. Audio. So, this has got glitter 
in it. And this is the plan for my sons. So this is this is how I actually want to get my sons um, five panel soulmates done is in this way. So this is what it's all been working up to is getting it getting this the way I want so I can make sure that I've got it right. Okay. <sighs> Pop that there and that and there. Yeah. Many of the um so this has got a couple of ridges on it. This is from Art Resin. And I'm going to use it to push it down and into the crevices. Because I think that it's been a step that has been missing when I've been pouring and I've ended up with um I've just been pouring it and letting it go and just letting it fall in and flow in which it is self leveling so it should do that but this is making sure that I'm pushing it in which is what I want is it to be pushed in so let's see how we go I think that's fairly into those crevices. is going to do what I want it to do. I hope it's going to do what I want it to do.
Okay, so what we've got is I've done the first coat. Um, you just see there, we've got resin um, is below the drills. Um, also on that edge there. And then you've got that, where we see that brown one that just won't stay down. Um, so there's a bit of sparkle in him, that right touch with the um, resin's good. He does look pretty cool. Um, I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes and check him out. I'm not covering him. This is a dust free room, so I'm not going to cover him. I'll see how he goes. So back in it shortly. Okay, it's been half an hour. Can we have a look? Uh, uh, I was just going to see it. Where is it? That brown section here. Um, I think it's going to give, regardless of whether I put them on a board or not, I think I'll get the same effect. Um, so, he does look cool though. I'll leave him be, leave him be for another two hours and then I'm actually going to do a second pour on him and see what I can do about this here. Oh, which you can see here as well. But I'm not too stressed about it actually. This is, he does look too bad. Um, I think it's probably because of the learnings that I've had already. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I will put another coat on just to try and solve that. Because that's more... Hang on, let's see if that does it. Sorry, I did have this raised pretty high. Just grab some resin from somewhere else. I'm trying to look at one spot. <laughs> that might have just been up just a tad too high. Needs to be up a bit, but not as high as it was. So just what you do just to raise things a bit. And just watch that. But otherwise, I think he looks pretty cool. Looks pretty good. I don't know whether I will do a second coat. I'll see what he's like in two and a half, three hours. Okay, here we go. Um, it's been oh, just over three hours. Um, I've still got some raised bits here. It's not too bad on the edges, a little bit. Oh, another raised bit there. Does look pretty good. I am going to put a second coat on him, so um, see you shortly. Okay, here we go. What I've done is 75 mil again. I'm just going in a slightly different cup, and you're not going to see much. So um, yeah, I'm just going to do another coating while it's still soft Just done is remove the tape. The 
what I want to do is because of where these bubbles formed, that resin has actually gone underneath. Oh, cool. So I'm going to turn him upside down and hopefully this will change slightly how things go and sorry using my teeth with the tape using the cloth tape this time and shoot down fairly firmly. Uh, got a bit of tape stuck on my lip. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't just bump the camera then. Because what I what happened last time was this the canvas just didn't sit properly. So I want to try and it was still raised in the middle. Which I shot it fold it up again. That's okay, we can do this. Definitely um I think I definitely need to do this on MDF board or a ply board or something. But there we go. So all I've done is just turn him upside down kept the board the same direction but I've turned him upside down and just give this a bit okay. and I actually semi expect that the resin it may actually pour off a bit more so I'm expecting I'll probably have resin all over my table by the time I'm done but that's okay I have plastic now as well so the, then the glitter ends up looking like it is actually part of the painting not part of the uh, gloss covering
going to give it a bed, a looking cross covering. to bring it out to that edge that edge is it's not going on it okay right I'm just gonna grab one of these and Try and get the resin off the edge. Okay, so what I've just discovered then is the resin is all pulling down that end again which I need to bring it up a bit get under there okay and yet again after doing that I've got more bubbles you're consistently doing this to pop bubbles and although you might be looking again, you can't see any. While you're actually throwing your torch around and watching where that flame is, you can actually see it popping bubbles. Okay, so what are you just looking like now? A bit on there. So the reason why you do this, why well, I've done the second coat while it's still, um, before it's fully set, is because then there's no sanding to try and get, um, give a surface for the resin to bond to. So if I had to, if this was set hard, I'd have to sand it so then there's a, something for the resin to grip. Okay. Still more bubbles. Mind, I did just touch the edges, didn't I? What happens? Put your fingers on things. Rightio. This hand's gonna need her. Right. Where are we gonna put that down? I am such a grotty person when it comes to doing stuff like this. Okay, put it on there, put that on there. What I do have is still some resin. So I'm gonna put pour the last of it in, I think. Just around the edges, not in the center. Okay, 
and that will I'm not going to spread that around that will level what I am going to do though is pop all those bubbles so from here I will come back in 10 minutes bloody phone Nathan rang me Okay, yeah, the answer rings and goes, oh, you're at home. It's like, yeah, well, can you go do this? <laughs> um, how about you ask what I'm doing before you send me to do something? And yeah, Terry said, what are you doing? He goes, are you at home? Yeah, can you go in the garage and check? I said, do you want to ask what I'm doing? No, just go in the garage and check. Mm, no, you need to ask what I'm doing. And he goes, oh, what are you doing? I said, I'm playing with working with resin. And that then registered that I actually <laughs> wasn't able to do it. Go to it and answer the phone or do what he wanted while I was on the phone to him. Still got bubbles in there. And glove off. Men. Are you good, aren't they? Oh no, I've got to fly in here. That's what happens when you do something for it. I was just feeling my torch. I've got a strange feeling that I um There we go. actually looking at now is I'm actually using the, the light that's directly above me and I'm just positioning my head so that the light's shining on particular spots that might pick up where there's bubbles. But he looks pretty good to me now. So I'll be back in 10 minutes after I've done that little job for Nathan and we'll see what he looks like whether he's level, whether I need to worry about the resin pouring, going either side. But just standing here, the resin is staying put. So back in 10. Okay, I missed a couple of steps. Um, I wasn't able to do, I'll show you a couple of steps. Um, my camera seemed to have failed. What I did do with this group was I came and checked him after 10 minutes and he was good so there's no more coding required <coughs> then after three hours I came along and actually got my exacto knife and I cut down and removed the tape oh, well I peeled the tape off and then I cut and removed the edging so what I've ended up with Okay, now we've got two lights to continue. Look at that, I've got a ring light. Let's give him a halo, shall we? Um, anyway, <laughs> so what I've ended up, I'm trying to do what I can to give better light. Okay, so what I've ended up with is Groot. Now, he is under resin and he looks stunning. I do have the glitter in that first layer, so there's not too much glitter. But if I turn it over, look at how thin he is. So that is straight on the canvas. So that's the canvas and not that you can really see it. Let's see how thin that is. So that's thinner than my fingernails. <laughs> okay, so resin, pour the resin on him. He is a little bit flexible. So that's no requirement for a frame. I can actually put him up on the wall right like that. Um, if we go looking at the edges, his edges are pretty good and one of the reasons why I did pour over on frames is because I wanted to really make sure I had the edges right. But there's a little bit, but otherwise I'm going to take the cheats way and just blue tape him up to the wall. 
Um, did I have, I had one section where it looked like I had a drill popping up. And hang on, I'm just trying to see if I can find it. And I can't even feel a drill popping up. So that's just with two coats. Um, even where I had, hang on, bear with me while I just do this. Just trying to spot it. Um, no, I can't even see where I had. There was like, um, in the first pour, I had drills that were raised up. Um, that's not even, I can't even see where that was. So, there we go. I have Groot. And he looks stunning. The glitter has, I think by adding the glitter and it's kept the shine and it's an ultra fine glitter. But even that, even if he hadn't, he'd have a nice shine to him. And I'm really happy with him. So he's actually going to go up on my wall right there where you actually never see it, but I will constantly see him sitting up there. Um, my apologies for the camera not working. Um, actually, there we go. I'll show you something. This is where I, I wasn't able to cut this. So this is just slightly over. Even in doing this guy like this has given me even more ideas on how to deal with the edges, which is a good thing because what I will do, the next one I do, I will cut the edge right off and I will just put it down on tape. Um, because by pulling the tape off, the tape coming off actually pulled away any resin. So if I cut this first um, before I do any resin pouring on it, um, I think that will solve some of the issue. But what I do is, like I did with my poster my on the ones on the frame, what I do is I cut the edge off, <clears throat> but I would use painter's tape on the edge here and here, all around the edge, so that then the resin hopefully won't stick to the edge like that. But there he is. Sorry, he's sideways, but I'm trying to get it so that you don't get the light on him. Actually, there we go. Camera focus. It's just not going to focus on him now. Right, bring it down. And camera down here. From here to here. No, it doesn't want to focus. Having a temperamental day. We all have those. Anyway, so, hang on a sec. I'm going to go and get angry with the camera. I got angry with the camera. No, I didn't really get that angry. Just did some movements and it finally clicked it in, clocked it in. So there he is. Root, all done, resin. Um, so he was a 30 by 40 from Evermoment. And last time I looked, I couldn't find him. So whether, um, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I couldn't find him on Evermoment last time I looked. But um, hopefully this gives you some ideas on how to frame without going through the process of putting on a frame. And this is how I will do my sons is like this. So I've got one more trial run to do. And if that works, I've got the exact scenario that I want to do for my, um, for the five panel. So the five panel obviously is a big build up to that one, but I want to get it right. Okay. So um, watch the scrolling credits. Um, the scrolling credits actually are showing. Um, just subscribe, like, hit the bell, all of that stuff. Um, and I have put down below the links to get to the resin um, through Amazon. I my first lot of resin I bought through Art Resin directly through their website. It took a while to get me get to me. Art Resin via Amazon Prime. It was here in two, three days. So um, I'll order via Amazon Prime. The store is still Art Resin, so Art Resin still gets it, but it just get it quicker for exactly the same price. Anyway, hope you like. I'll catch you later. Bye.